to shut off. There you go. It's happy and alive. The light. There you go. Good light. Got contact? Contact. Contact. Crank it up. Okay, we got the oil off. Clean this up. Clean the bearings off. So now we got to see if the uh, these actually uh, fit together now. Just because you measure them doesn't mean they fit together. That's how I found that one that had a couple big ones in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't fit together like it was supposed to. You know, it measured every damn one of them. Like, oh, that's why. Now, before you put these all on, you got to make sure the snap ring is above the lip. If this was over here, you couldn't use these. So, got to make sure they're works. Okay, this is just going to be a, a trial fit by finger, basically. Just stick it in here. It's hard to do with my hand here because there's nothing really to hold on. To. Okay, so it goes in. Then I want to make sure I got a little bit of clearance. So that's all the way up. You pull out a little bit. Can you hear the clearance? Mm -hmm. That was up and, up and down. You also look at the flywheel over here and you can see it rocking around a little bit. This is actually a little bit tighter and I really like it, but it's really hard to tell what you're doing like this. But. See, normally I want to see the flywheel bouncing pretty good. Kind of judge it off the lower spots. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to go this way. I'm getting nothing because I got no leverage. It's hard to hold the flywheel and do all this stuff. And the case is moving around. So basically, it's it's a little bit tighter than I like it to be. See, it doesn't matter what the indicators are. If it doesn't feel right, it's still not right. Mm -hmm. It is totally free usable. If you're going to do a nice slow break in, which my customers usually don't like doing, this is perfectly fine. See how little movement we got on the shaft? Here? Yep. See, it barely moves. So, if you want to have a little extra clearance, you can drive a little harder, like most of my customers do. We're going to make it a little bit looser. Now, the other thing that might have happened was it might have shrunk a little bit when I cooled it. You know, when I cleaned it, it cools it. Right. So, we might have lost a tenth or so, too. So either way, I'm going to open this up another couple tents because I don't like how it feels right now. Which is a common thing around here these days. So. My mic's starting to green with each other, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe it's just me. That's always you try to measuring it cold? See what it comes up with? Well, I am kind of cold right now. How'd you know? Okay, notice how it's dropped down to 17 and Yeah, we were tenths. at 19 and a half, right? Yeah, so see we lost a couple tents from shrinkage. See, even our loose spot, we're only at 18 and a half. So that's why it feels a little bit that way. It cooled down when I cooled it, when I cleaned it. That's why you always double check your work. This gives another opportunity to get some more of the out of round out the paper. You can have a shot at it now. We're able to take it out two tenths bigger. I don't think two tenths will make that big of a difference, but it actually does. You can feel two tenths, believe me. I used to have a light one, you see. <laughs> and 21. And this way here, 18 and a half, 18, and not quite, not quite. Enough. So we're gonna get a little bit more. Hopefully we're over 19 well on everything now. And we're just under two there. 19 and a half. And two. Okay. Just 
inside here we've got two one and a high, that's our two on, two one, and two one and a half. Okay, so now we're a little bit bigger. And it's gonna cool down maybe another tenth. Should put me right back at that 19 to 2 when we're done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and do it again. So we'll let this just sit here for a minute. We'll move on to something else. I hate wasting video time. So we're going to bump over to our cam cover right now. So this here, we have our loose pinion shaft. Now I didn't show this on camera, but I took my uh, external hone and I honed the surface here. Remember how rough that was before? Mm -hmm. See how it's pretty smooth now? Now I just did that by hand because there's no way to turn it in the lathe. Let me get my hand in here. So this here is the external hone. This has a real fine set of stones in it. Basically I put it on the end of the shaft, cranked the wheel down for a little pressure, and I just rotated it by hand like this, just spinning it around by hand with, with some oil on it. And it smoothed it up pretty good. So, so it makes it, that'll make the bushing a lot more happy when it's round and true like that. So even though you don't have a power tool, it still works. The power of these two fingers. That's a power tool. Yeah, old power tools. Vintage. Exactly. Okay, so now I can get rid of this bushing. So we're gonna pull it. So we've got to find a pinion bushing pulley for a big twin. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, it's about the right size. The other thing we got to do is make sure this will fit in the hole. I'll get it well. This has been modified for other applications. Push it in there. This expands it back out so it can't collapse. It won't even go in there right now. That's not good. That's a precision fit. Three quarter. That one's a three quarter. Nope. Only got two thirteen sixteenths of that. You're trying to confuse me. I'm going to mix up my tools. Two of the same socket. See, now we're going to use power tools and not use my hand. My hand force might not be enough. Notice they don't use any pins. See how that one's pinned? Mm -hmm. That's been replaced. They don't use any pins at the factory anymore. They quit doing that in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. <clears throat> For sure. Maybe mid 80s. See, no pins. So there's nothing to keep that from coming out except the Loctite. And I don't even see much of that on there. So you get that out, clean up the hole, get our clean rag out and do a better job. Look at that, nice and clean, clean enough for this job. Okay, here's our new pinion bush. See how it's trying to go in there? That's how much they give us to work with. Like half a thou to a thou. It's hard to fix a hole with only half a thou to a thou. Okay, we got some sleeve retainer Loctite we're going to use. Okay, get a holding fix to hold the cover. 
do that. Maybe some kind of tool will press it in. That obviously is not going to work. That's the old tool. That'll work. See, the leg covers are recessed a lot deeper, so they don't recess the bushing in the hole anymore, it goes flush. So that other tool I had was made to go recessed. This one here, we just use a standard tool because it's flush. There's no oil hole to worry about, there's no nothing, it's just a straight bushing. And sleeve retainer lock tight to hold it. You know, you want the bevel here to go inward to help put it in the hole. If you're lucky, it goes in with no problem. If you're not lucky, it goes in with a problem. You can split the cover wide open, or it might just fall in. Both of those are not correct. One's worse than the other, though. Okay, <clears throat> now I go to the press, and press this in. So this has a recess to go around your nose cone. This is in the way, so if you push on this, you're going to cut it off. So we actually have to push this thing back inside the cone here. Get that below the surface. Sits in the groove where it belongs, and you have to find something here that keeps it flat. There's a really thin washer right here. Flat. Just push that on right like that. On the wrong side. You don't get side. Unless you want to get banged in the head. When they're pretty tight. Really tight. Damn, that is tight. There it is. Cam cover breaking pressures. It ain't moving no more. And that ain't going to go no more, I bet. Um, it moved. It didn't move. The bushing's way up high and it's not going in any further. My guess is the bushing's made too tall. I didn't check it to make sure. It's too much pressure. That's putting almost five tons on it. That would be called a problem. Yeah, Pull it out again and machine it down. Yeah, it's probably not going to come out with the sleeve retainer locked out on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go look at the other bushing and compare it and measure it. See if it's different. Doesn't look any taller. See, it looks like it was goes into a hole or something, but it doesn't. Five fifteen. Five inch. So the bush is now taller. <coughs> Definitely not going in anymore though. I 
See, these covers are so thin, if you keep forcing them, they're just going to split the covers and just right. buckle them. I've already had, I was almost five tons of pressure. It's way up there. So all I can do at this point is go heat it up with a torch a little bit, get the Loctite to melt, and then try to push it the rest of the way, because the Loctite's binding it up. There's a very tight hole to begin with. So we're going to go heat the cover up to about yeah, 400 degrees or so. Loctite melts around 350 max. If you get up to about 550, you'll start turning the chrome color. So, so 400 degrees, you're fine. So we're going to go back and play with the torch. That's how 